wings as eagles my children shall rise to a higher level says the Lord you shall mount up with wings as eagles shall cause you to rise to a higher level my children far higher than your problems than the situations that have hindered you in the past I am raising up a higher level to where you shall soar above your situations that those who Know my voice. Shall stay above and not be hindered, says the Lord. Wings of eagles. Fly, eagles, fly. Time to rise higher. The church hasn't been soaring, but it shall soar from this day forward. I'm taking you higher. Higher. Eagles that fly together shall see higher levels of breakthrough that will change the very atmosphere of their cities. Unity, eagles, is what I'm raising up in this hour.
higher realms than you've ever been used to, you are about to see my eagles. My church shall go farther and higher than they've ever been. Eagles of unity. Eagles of war. Eagles that I have called for such a time as this. So, just when you think you've gone high, I shall take you higher, my children. There's no depths too deep and no heights too high for what I'm about to do with you, my children. the spirit of revival revival all across the world in highways and byways revival is being restored in its integrity says the Lord people will know revival when they see it Many types of revival are going to be released in this hour from all across the land, says the Lord. For homes shall release revival. Businesses shall have revival in their midst. Just as a school was recognized for shooting, so shall a school again be recognized, but this time for revival. For the spirit of revival goes where it may. It's like a stream, it's like a river. It goes where people are open, says the Lord. For I am bringing back the tent revivals, says the Lord. Tent revivals of old. Not room enough to receive. But room enough for me, says the Lord. Revival on planes. Revival on trains. Revival on rooftops, says the Lord. Revival in the midst of the deserts. 
Revival in Native American regions, says the Lord. Revival to the youth of the United States of America shall come, says the Lord. I am raising up my young people. Timothy, Timothy, come forth. The spirit of revival. The integrity of revival is going to be restored, says the Lord. They will not call revival, revival, unless it is revival. New sounds from heaven are being released for such a time as this. Sounds from the throne that you've never experienced, never knew could exist. Sounds from the throne of heaven. New realms of my glory. release some sounds says the Lord sounds that will seem to be created because that's exactly what they are created by me sounds that will break through break in and break out that which I'm doing says the Lord heaven is coming to earth Revelation glory has truly not been experienced yet, but shall be starting right now, says the Lord. Revelation the revelatory anointing knowledge from heaven hidden since the foundation of the world is being revealed right now says the Lord
that truly has been revelation reserved for this generation that no generation has ever heard before. For revelations being revealed to a remnant of my people, says the Lord. Because only a remnant is willing to pay the price. For I shall re reveal, release, revelation concerning atmospheres, concerning electricity, concerning the clouds in the sky, concerning the moon, the sun, the stars, because we need revelation of even that which the enemy is using against us. I shall reveal, says the Lord. New discoveries of creations, scientific creations. Secrets from my throne, says the Lord. Secrets only revealed to my sheep, says the Lord. Those that hear and those that know my voice says the Lord. Release the dance, says the Lord. For new dances shall come forth, says the Lord, with flags. And I shall even release in the midst of the new dance, the prophetic dance, says the Lord. Smoke straight from my throne, says the Lord. For I am about to release real prophetic worship. For it shall be a contagious thing to even awaken the dead, says the Lord. For the feet shall start to move. And it shall cause the chains to be broken over their house says the Lord for this shall be a pure worship unto me says the Lord there shall be authority and prophetic art in that which I'm about to do
for people shall swing flags and it shall appear as fire. For my people shall release and swing streamers and it shall release rivers and people will feel drops of rain in my house says the Lord release the dance I'm calling forth the dancers, says God. Don't worry what people think. Just dance. If I've called you to dance, who are they to judge? some will dance and as they move about the room there shall be oil footprints as they go to prove that my anointing is upon their feet for I shall release my signs and wonders oil from heaven calling my young people from the toddlers to the teenagers to the young adults dance children dance for my older generations shall dance like the younger generation and it shall release an unusual sound coming from their feet. Things that have never been heard before. They shall hear the sounds of feet thumping about, moving about. For there will be times that as my church dances prophetically unto me that I shall cause my heavenly host to come join in. And you shall hear the sounds of my heavenly hosts. And their feet shall cause it to sound as though there are thousands among you. Come on. If you want heaven to invade the earth, you got to dance. If I have anointed you to dance, you got to move your feet. 
says the Lord. For even if you don't have rhythm, I shall give it to you. For some shall be anointed to sing, dance at the same time. For new levels of prophetic worship is about to come upon my church, says the Lord. For I remind you, I said I was going to do a new thing. Except new, says the Lord. Release the dance. Prophetic dance shall release shackles. Prophetic dance shall release miracles. Prophetic dance shall shake the foundation and everything that can be shaken shall be shaken, says the Lord. releasing especially anointing specifically for worship specifically for dance specifically for flags specifically this shall not be performance this shall be worship unto me says the Lord New levels of glory. New levels, says the Lord. For I have said that I shall do a new thing. But yet the church doesn't really understand new. But it will, says the Lord. New levels of power. New dimensions of my glory. That the church has not experienced.
for I am calling young and old alike and they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover A new sign and wonder shall be parts left behind, such as tumors and meetings, gross tumors, cysts, goiters, metal in people's bodies put in by surgeons, laying on the floor after a meeting, says the Lord that I have removed. New levels of power. New level of devils, says the Lord. The enemy shall rise to a new level as I, the Lord, rise in a new level. I tell you this not to fear. I tell you this because you shall win, says the Lord. Because the enemy, just like the church, is running out of time. The time is never tomorrow. The time is now to rise up, church. Rise up now to a new level, says the Lord. I shall cause the enemy no longer to be the stumbling blocks but the stepping stones to higher ground, says the Lord. new levels new levels that doesn't even require someone to lay hands on the sick that I the Lord shall do miracles without anyone laying hands on them but me says the Lord for I'm taking my church back to the levels that are new levels of who touched me For we shall reach forth and touch the hem of the Lord's garment in this hour and be healed, says the Lord. New levels. New levels. Latter glory. Greater glory, says the Lord.
for I the Lord am about to pour out my greater glory says the Lord it's an outpouring upon all flesh and the latter shall be greater than the former says the Lord For my glory cloud shall be so thick in the sanctuary that people will not be able to enter in unless they repent. For my higher level of glory that's about to come, says the Lord, shall reveal and expose people's hearts. Because it's greater, says the Lord. My people are changed from glory to glory. But there's greater changes about to come. I shall do in days what has took me a year to do today. And this is not something coming way down the road, says the Lord. For we are upon it now, says the Lord. My greater glory shall come. And you now will know my greater because it will look like something you've never seen. You will know my latter because it shall not even look like the former or even a representation of that which is former, says the Lord. For it's in this level of glory, says the Lord, that my people shall truly know and experience the greater works than these shall you do because I go to my Father in heaven. It is my glory that I leave. My presence, the very essence of of me, says the Lord. For the Lord says, Ladder glory. It's as though a ladder is ascending into heaven through the open door. For you shall be given access, says the Lord, to the door standing open in heaven. Where angels shall ascend and descend. For I will not take you to this realm without bringing you back different than that which you went in. I'm releasing my greater glory since the Lord. It's where I come and set among you. You don't have to lift your hands to get to me, for I shall be right there in your midst, saith the Lord. It's where miracles take place with ease, says the Lord. Because greater shall be done than that the former glory has ever done.
healing wings. For my church is about to experience I the Lord with healing in my wings for I shall stir the healing waters and release my healing power And just as there shall be many revivals, there also shall be many pools of Bethesda. Outpouring of healing. For people shall come from miles around needy to be healed and they shall go to that place and be healed and go to that place and be healed for I shall raise up in America a hundred one hundred healing pools says the Lord that every incurable disease shall go in And walk out healed by my power. For I am releasing healing movements, says the Lord. And many will say, who prayed for you? And many shall respond. No one. I just went there expecting. And when I walked in, something happened. For I am about to do this all across the world God's glory thunders For my glory shall thunder again. And it shall thunder upon the rooftops of my church where people gather in my name. For people will hear my voice and it shall come forth as thunder the reality of God the reality and fear of the Lord shall come through the thunder of my glory Thunder, lightning, flashes shall shake the meetings of my people, says the Lord. You shall know who are in unity with me, says the Lord. 
because of the new sounds that are coming of my thunders. Audible voice. There shall be a new sound released of thunder preceding my voice. For my church is about to experience my glory, my face right in their midst, says the Lord. God's glory thunders. It shall thunder. It shall shake the very inner hearts of my people, says the Lord. It will be so loud that it shall draw people from the streets within. People will be moved to come in because of the thunder, not from outside, but from within, says the Lord. The fire of God. Consuming fire. Baptized with the Holy Spirit. And baptized with holy fire. Many within the church haven't seen the level of fire that I, the Lord, am going to do in this hour. You shall see tongues of fire. Balls of fire shall fall across the earth.
fire shall appear on rooftops as revival fire is being released within clouds of smoke pillars of fire shall appear as my new level of signs and wonders the level of hunger shall appear as fire People will be able to touch this fire and not be burned. Because it's fire from my throne, says the Lord. For in the end, many shall see the Lord with the fire burning in his eyes. And this fire of signs and wonders shall be a preview of Jesus Christ's return. shall truly see people called by my name burning like fire it shall restore fear to the church My fire shall come down. Nothing in the natural shall be burned. But people's hearts. Will be moved. To repentance. Because this is my consuming. Fire. higher level of fires coming to my church says the Lord look and expect to see Dunamis power. For I am restoring dynamic power to my church, says the Lord. 
children, men and women of all ages, will walk in great power, says the Lord. Ha <laughs> ha. The power to create, the power to recreate, shall be in their hands, says the Lord. That which has been lost. That which has been removed shall be restored, says the Lord. For the church believes they know what dunamis power is. But they know it by stories. They do not know it by experience. For I am raising up the faceless generation to walk in my dunamis power, says the Lord. Dynamic, dynamo, power. Dynamite, power. They shall lay hands on military whom have had their legs blown off. And I shall create that which has been removed, says the Lord. Breast cancer victims shall have the recreation of that which once was there and had to be removed because of cancer. For I shall cure AIDS, says the Lord. I shall cure cancer. I shall cure any disease, which there shall be many diseases yet to come, but I shall bring cures. It is my dynamic my dunamis, my dunamis power, says the Lord. I'm looking for a humble generation, says the Lord. They don't want the dynamic power because they want to be seen. But they want the dynamic power because they want people to see me, says the Lord. This new level of power should call all men to begin to be drawn to me, says the Lord. For there shall be numerous salvations after witnessing my power. And my dunamis power does not limit to the church, says the Lord. For there's a world out there who doesn't know me, but they shall know my power. People getting out of wheelchairs at the mall. People being raised from their deathbeds in nursing homes and hospitals. Dunamis. Power. for this hour says the Lord
deep calls on the deep says hello a deeper depth of all the knowledge of God and heaven For I am taking my church to a deeper place, says the Lord. A deeper place to receive. Depths that you've never experienced. For you shall reach in and pull out from my throne, from my treasure room says the Lord. For I, the Lord, am about to release nuggets of wisdom. Nuggets of revelation. And they're coming from the deep, call it under deep place. Breakthrough. Army of God is about to come forth, says the Lord. For I, the Lord, am raising up an army for such a time as this. They shall have breakthrough everywhere they go. For I shall raise up an unmovable army, an unshakable army, an army that doesn't move because of this or that. They only move by my voice, says the Lord. For this army that I'm raising up in this hour, People will look upon them and not see them, but they shall see me, says the Lord. Because this army shall be in tune. In tune. In sync to what I, the Lord, am doing. For I'm raising up special forces. Warriors of the Lord. They shall know how to use their sword. I am raising up watchmen in this hour. Their eyes shall see, their ears shall hear, and they shall speak the word of the Lord. For this army called Breakthrough. They shall be called upon to release breakthrough. When those are ready to give up, I shall call forth my army to come release breakthrough, says the Lord.
for I shall draw this army together from all parts of the earth. I shall draw them in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. From all parts of the earth, they shall come. From every nation, they shall come. And they shall be anointed to break in, to break out, to break open, and to break through. When the enemy rises against this army, says the Lord, that I'm raising up, they will not turn away, for they shall stand in unity together and say, we will not move, for we are the army of the Lord. For the archangel, Michael, shall walk alongside this army called Breakthrough. My church, I'm raising up in this hour. For many within the church will say, I didn't see that coming. But my army shall say, it's coming. But the thing is, many within my church will not listen. The difference between those who go to church and the army I'm raising up is the army shall become sharper than any has ever been before. They shall see what the enemy is going to do before the enemy does it. They shall see and hear the sound of the mulberry trees and move. They shall know what to do in times of the valley, in times of the wilderness, in times of the mountain. For I'm calling. I'm calling for my army to come forth in this hour. I shall be with you, says the Lord. For indeed, this army shall rise up and say to the mountain, Be removed, and it shall be removed. For surely this army shall rise up and be the army that I've called. This truly will be an experience of touch not my anointed, says the Lord. For my church hasn't known authority to the level of this breakthrough army that I'm about to raise up. For it shall be five here, a hundred there, a thousand there, fifteen over there. For the Lord says, there shall be many across the earth, part of this army, in the midst of others. But the Lord says, that's why I'm raising up an army. To be watchmen over my flock. And this army will not be an army that loses. For I shall give this army strategies straight from the throne of God. 
for there shall be times to pray and they'll pray there'll be times to shout and they'll shout there'll be times to sing and they will sing there'll be times to be quiet and not be distracted and they will be quiet and not be distracted For my army shall know my voice and move when I say move. For I am raised up in this hour. The army, the army of the Lord. And there shall be an angel called Breakthrough that shall go along with it as well. Because the Lord says, it's time for my church to break through. It's time for my church to break through. To break all the way through, says the Lord. Breakthrough. Prophetic. Breakthrough. Says the Lord. Begins right now. 